Hello everyone and welcome to another video. A few weeks ago I made a video about how I managed to get 260,000 guests per hour to use one single toilet with this very simple setup. A single maze with three shops on the other side. Any guest that goes through this maze enters a never ending loop of buying food, drinks and going to the toilet and because they never become unhappy they never want to leave the park. With this we got to 49,500 guests per hour on the toilet with the RCT2 vanilla guest limit of 9601 guests and to over 260,000 per hour with 50,000 guests in open RCT2. That's really impressive and by far the record for the highest number of guests per hour but shortly after I published that video I got this comment. What about using the guest name cheats to increase the throughput even more? And oh boy, this absolutely destroyed the old records. In this video I will show you how I managed to get a throughput of over 8 million guests per hour and also how I managed to get a staff member to do more than 185 million jobs per hour. So what are the guest name cheats? They are certain names that you can give to your guests that cause them to do certain things. For example, if you name one Simon Foster, he will regularly paint a picture of your park. And if you name one Lisa Sterling, she starts leaving trash everywhere she goes. These are fun, but not very useful for our quest for more throughput. Some others, such as Francis McGowan, are very useful though. A guest with that name will have their need to go to the bathroom continuously increased at a very fast rate, causing them to need to pee every 10 seconds. This is a maze trap with just 1000 guests and the toilet has a throughput of about 5000 guests per hour. Let's see what happens when we name all our guests Francis McGowan. The guests per hour number shoots up past 10,000 and just keeps going until a maximum of about 90,000 guests per hour. And that with only 1,000 guests in the park. This is a ridiculous improvement, but we can do better. Just like the name Francis McGowan increases the need to pee, the name Mia Sheridan makes guests very nauseous all the time. With 1000 guests bearing that very cursed name, the newly placed first aid stall manages to get over 170,000 customers per hour, nearly twice as much as the toilet. I didn't manually rename all these guests by the way, that would be way too much work. I have Bossy to thank for a command that did it all for me in a fraction of a second. Let's now see how many guests per hour the first aid stall gets with as many guests as we can get with the vanilla guest limit of 9601. Just like last time I didn't quite manage to get to that number because there's always a little bit of litter and there are two staff members so 9593 guests will have to do. But hang on, you can't actually give two guests the same name in the original Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Open RCT2 changed this to allow it, but in the original this clever setup sadly wouldn't work. Or would it? Capital letters count as different characters than lowercase letters, so you can give two guests the same name if you just capitalize different letters. And because the check for the name cheat ignores capitalization, these will still both get the effect. Mia Sheridan has 11 letters and each can be an upper or a lowercase letter for a total of 2 to the power 11 or 2048 different possible combinations. It's not quite the guest limit but it will still be plenty to break the old record of 260,000 guests per hour. As expected the throughput increases to a little over twice that of the test with 1000 guests, roughly 360,000. Over a 20 year long test this came to an average of 359,966 guests per hour. This is the maximum possible in vanilla and while it does use cheats, those cheats were implemented into the game by Chris Sawyer so it is sort of cheating but also sort of not. Either way this is the highest throughput possible in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 vanilla with the current techniques that we know of and it easily beats the 49,500 from the previous video. But what if we could give guests identical names? Well in that case we're back to 9,593 guests which gives a throughput of over 1.6 million guests per hour. This even beats the ridiculously high 
peek throughput on the information kiosk with 50,000 guests that we got a few weeks ago. Speaking of 50,000 guests, let's try that for the first aid stall as well. This gives way too much lag, so just like last time I will record the numbers with the guests off screen and then edit in a maze trap with fewer guests. Strangely enough, the throughput only goes up to about a million guests per hour here, despite having over 5 times as many guests. This is not because fewer people are using it, but rather because the game cannot deal with tens of thousands of people all puking in the same 3x3 meter room at the same time. If we put the previous one next to it, we can see that the number for total customers does indeed increase much quicker with 50,000 guests. From this, we can still calculate the throughput over a long period, and it comes out to a staggering 8.7 million guests per hour, crushing anything and everything we've seen before. There is still a way to go higher though, as long as we consider staff to be right. Trust me, that will make sense in a minute. Handyman can do 4 different jobs and the game actually keeps track of how many times they have done each job, similar to the total customer's number of rides. From this we can calculate how many jobs they do per hour, which we could interpret as the throughput of the staff member. Handyman will never get a particularly high throughput though, as everything they do takes some time. A handyman in a maze trap with 1000 guests is constantly sweeping without any breaks at all, which only amounts to about 1050 jobs per hour. He is sweeping many pieces of litter and vomit at the same time, but that still only counts as one. The same goes for the mechanic, and it's even worse, as fixing or inspecting a ride takes much longer. Entertainers don't really do individual jobs, which only leaves the security guard. When a guest is trying to vandalize something, the game goes through the list of security guards, and if it finds one that is nearby enough, it stops the guest from vandalizing. RCT2 Vanilla did not keep track of how many vandals each security guard has stopped, but it is easily possible to do this, and that is indeed what Open RCT2 now does. The great thing about this is that stopping a vandal requires no specific action from the security guard, it just needs to be nearby and then it happens instantly. So, if we have enough guests trying to vandalize stuff, we can get a ridiculously high number of jobs done per hour. Once again, we will need to use a guest name cheat here. A guest named A. Lee Bell, yes I know it says Elith, but apparently you pronounce this as A. Lee, will become super angry and constantly attempt to vandalize any nearby path ornaments. Putting her on a single piece of path with a security guard and some lamps shows us that every time she passes through the middle, she will try to break them and is stopped by the guard. A. Lee Bell has 10 characters, so we can get a total of 1000 and 24 guests with that name in vanilla. This is where I got confused, as in different tests to calculate the number of jobs per hour, I got very different numbers. It took me quite a while to realize that this is caused by different energy levels. The higher the energy of the guest, the faster they will walk and the more frequently they will pass through the middle and attempt vandalization. These guests will all eventually want to go home and get zero energy, which is the equilibrium state, but before that they can have higher energies for a little while. With these 1024 guests at minimum energy, the security guard will stop nearly a million vandalism attempts per hour, and at maximum energy it's almost 4 times as high at 3.8 million. Using the vanilla guest limit of nearly 10,000 guests, the guard will stop anywhere from 9.2 million to 35.6 million vandals per hour. You may have been noticing that the number isn't going up nearly as smoothly here, which is because the game cannot keep up with the thousands of vandalism checks every second. Even with the guests off screen, we're only able to reach a single digit FPS. This means that with 50,000 guests, it's completely unplayable. One frame takes multiple seconds to process, and it would take absolutely forever to do any kind of test to calculate the number of jobs per hour. This doesn't really matter, as we can simply use the number from the previous test to calculate this one, as all we need to do is scale it by the amount of guests in the park. 
The result is over 48 million vandals stopped every hour at the equilibrium of zero energy. And nearly 186 million per hour at maximum energy, which is over 51,000 every second. I don't think we can go any higher than this, but that's what I thought last time as well, so who knows what the future holds. To see how exactly the maze trap works and how I got to the original 260,000 guests per hour, click this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.